Hi there, it's time for motor test of the week. This week I'm going to be testing another one of these Ghoul RC four pole in runner motors. And basically, this one's going to be another EDF test. I haven't done an EDF test for a little while. Um, and I basically wanted a nice sort of lighter four cell setup because uh, the other ones have been a bit. Um, they're a bit heavier, much heavier motors and been running on five cells and stuff like that. So um, yeah, I thought I'd pick one of these up and yep, yeah, it's the usual good quality Gull RC motors, uh, decent price and I'm going to be fitting it in, uh, where are we, uh, one of these uh, older style ducted fans. Uh, they're available on Hobby King, uh, but they are also available on Robot Birds in the UK, um, and they are correct on Robot Birds in saying that they are a 65 millimeter EDF unit, whereas on Hobby King, for some reason, they list it as a 66 millimeter um, EDF, but it's <laughs> it is actually a 65. Uh, it's got a six blade rotor, um, slightly strange rotor setup, um, but I think they work pretty well. I've used them before, and uh, I thought I'd use this one as, as it is intended with the six bladed rotor that it comes with. Um, the other ones I've done, I've just used the housing because it allows me to fit um, these 29mm in runners into it. Uh, with just a little bit of dremeling um, inside, just got to take out I don't know, quarter of a millimetre outside the um, or from the inside rather where the motor goes and then the um, 29 millimetre cool RC motors slot in quite nicely um, so let's take a look at the specs um, of the motor so yeah, it's a 2958, 4,200 kV motor. Uh, these are meant for speedboats, but I've found them to be excellent EDF motors. And here we go, let's go down. So it says it's capable of 60,000 RPM. And it says it can take 1,400 watts at 14 volts. So let's get the old calculator out. So 1400 watts divided by 14 volts, obviously, is going to be 100 amps. Um, not sure about that one, but that's what it says it can take. So um, I have to see on that one. Well, most of them are about that sort of spec. Um, I have already given this a test and it does get quite hot uh, pulling nowhere near that sort of amperage but um, I was running it quite a lot <laughs> I was running it quite hard um, it is 148.3 grams in weight um, so it's you know a lighter motor than the other ones like I said a lighter setup running on 4 cell and it's got a 3.175 millimeter shaft so the adapter that comes with that should fit just straight on the motor. Um, I'm not sure in the picture here on uh, Hobby King it looks like it comes with a collet adapter. I think that's the old ones. Um, but on Banggood it comes, uh, not Banggood, sorry, Robot Birds. <laughs> it comes with a grub screw adapter. So they've obviously changed the setup there on those ones. Um, but yeah, so hopefully this will run pretty good. Uh, I was when I was testing it before it was on a much smaller battery, um, and it was making the battery get very hot and literally a little bit puffy. So uh, I'm going to need to run it on a slightly bigger battery, which I'm going to be doing now. I was just running it on a 2200 milliamp. Uh, 4 cell, 40C 4 cell and it didn't like it so I'm going to be running it on 
slightly bigger battery. Um, I'm just going to be using a simple ESC. In runners you can use on a simple ESC, they don't seem to mind it. Uh, so it's just going to be a Hobbywing Skywalker 80 amp ESC. And right, so I've got it all on the uh, thrust stand. And let's give it a try. <laughs> Okay, here we are on the EDF setup. Um, I have fitted it with one of these uh, cooling heat sinks. Uh, I haven't bothered reinforcing this one. Um, it's not going to be as powerful as the other ones I've tested, so I didn't bother reinforcing it. Um, it has got the intake lip on. I like these ones because it's got a nice big intake lip. So, uh, yeah, I've got the ESC in. And so I'm going to test it with a Zippy uh, 40C 2650 milliamp 4 cell. Okay, so let's see how this goes. more thrust than it did with the 2200 milliamp. That's quite a difference. Only 79 amps. 11. What was that? 1149 watts. No, 46 watts. 1146 watts. So blimey, that was, uh, <laughs> that certainly, uh, Makes a difference with a slightly uh, bigger battery. Let's run that again. It's got a reasonable um, whooshy sound, this uh, EDF. 52. Alright, let's. Have a quick check of the, uh, what is it? It is, you know, it's quite cool in here, 15 degrees in the workshop at the moment. So it's gone up to 28.8. Hmm. I was running this pretty hard yesterday and I got it over 50 degrees, but... <laughs> yeah, so let's do a half throttle test. So that's not bad, thrust at half throttle. Let's go full throttle again. Well, I think that's a pretty good four cell setup. <laughs> That's better than expected. I think I was only getting about that's pretty good temperature as well for that sort of run. I think when I tried it with a 2200 milliamp, I was only getting what was it uh, just under 1400 grams of thrust and about 68 amps. I think it went up to so. That's pretty good, certainly makes a difference having a slightly bigger battery. Right. I think that's a pretty decent four cell set up there. Yeah, still the same. Hey! <laughs> Right, so 
So that was just this uh, simple EDF test. Anyway, if you like this video, yeah, please give us a like. And uh, I'll see you again next week on Motor Test of the Week. And if you want to see that, click that subscribe button. And I'll see you again. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.